Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing what I feel like will very quickly become my favorite combo in the entire game, and that of course is the newly Extremes Awakened Fizz LR Gogeta and Int LR Vegito on a 200% team led by the double LR Super Saiyan 4s along with the STR LR Vegito, the Tech LR Gogeta, and finally the Tech Base Vegito for support. So on this first rotation, we have the two LRs together, and as you can see, they start with a very respectable amount of defense. On turn 1, 258k for the Vegito, and 235k for the Gogeta. So, uh, let's start by giving these guys some orbs. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of Rainbow Key Spheres, so only a 12k super for the Vegito, and we do have an 18k super for the Gogeta, so that's nice. And here we go. Let's see what these guys look like with their Extreme Z Awakenings. Uh, Vegito is starting with 4.4 mil, which is basically what he would have maxed out at before the Extreme Z Awakening with a full 24 key super. So we're already off to a very good start. And unfortunately, uh, Gogeta wasn't able to attack because Vegito killed the Goku. Okay, so I mean, that was a really good showing for the. Uh, Vegito, but we do want Gogeta to get some attacks in there too, so hopefully next time we get some supers from him as well. But uh, yeah, good for the Vegito. I like the numbers for just a 12 key super, so an 18 key super should obviously be even more damage. Um, on this rotation, we have the Tech Gogeta and the STR Vegito together. Um, eventually, what I want to do is uh, get the Fused like LR Gogeta's together and the fused LR Vegito's together at some point in the showcase. But for now, before the fusions, I'll keep the EZAs together because they do share six links. But once we get like, you know, the Tech Gogeta and the Biz Gogeta and the uh, Int Vegito with the STR Vegito, they'll have all their links with each other. I'm pretty sure. At least the Vegito's have seven links. I think the Gogeta's have either 6 or 7 links, but that's for later in the showcase. For now, we'll do, you know, these two together. And without the support now, we have uh, 233k defense and 212k defense, respectively. Keep in mind, they do get more defense on the super attack, so, you know, after they super, both of them should be closer to, like, 300k or so, right? Okay, so this time... I mean, it's kind of tough because I want to give these orbs, these int orbs, to the Vegito. But at the same time, Gogeta hasn't had a chance to attack yet. But he doesn't get an 18 key super anyways. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. Let's give these to Vegito. And then for the Gogeta, uh, that's going to be a 12 key super. But hopefully he still gets to attack either way. Here we go. So tanking normals right now really, really well. 6.3 mil for the 12 key with no supports. And maybe an additional as well. No additional there. That's cool. Really good tanking so far. Really, really good tanking so far. Okay, Gogeta time. 4.6 mil. No supports for the 12 key super. And no additional there. But good tanking once again. So yeah, defensively, they're looking really good. Offensively. Um, nothing like crazy so far, I gotta say, you know, it's not like they're putting up, you know, 8, 9, 10 mil, right? But, it's more than good enough, it's a massive improvement from before the Extreme Z Awakening, where, like I said, you're looking at like 4 to 5 mil for a full 24 key super on this team, now you're looking at 4 to 5 mil for the 12 key super, and then 6 plus, maybe 7 to 8 for, the full, for a full 24 key super, right? So, definitely a big improvement. Definitely a massive, massive improvement. Okay, so we can get the Gogeta now, but I think I'm going to save it um, for a little bit later. I'm going to save it. Or maybe we can start... Hmm, we can start by maybe taking him out of rotation here so that we can get him with the other Gogeta. I'm trying to think right now, because we don't have too many phases left of this fight. So 
I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, this is fine. And we'll give a couple of orbs to the Vegito. And let's do that for the uh, Gogeta. And of course, all these guys right now are Goku and Vegeta, right? So I realize that like they're not technically Vegito and Gogeta, but you guys get the point. Like eventually they become Gogeta and Vegito. I just, I just want to make sure that people realize that, um, you know, I know that they're not fused yet. <laughs> But I just want to call them Goku, or rather uh, Gogeta and Vegito, just to keep it simple. Because saying, you know, F Fizz, LR, Goku and Vegeta, or like Angel Goku and Angel Vegeta just gets too complicated. And there's a lot of Goku and Vegetas on this team, which is kind of confusing. So I think it makes a little bit more sense to say Gogeta and Vegito, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, um... <laughs> We're about to get back to the EZA soon, and I really want to get them full 24 key supers. One thing that someone did say on my stream earlier today when I was doing the Extreme Z battles is that he found it a little bit hard to get the 18 key supers, which is something that I am also starting to notice as well. Um, obviously, with you know rainbow key spheres, it makes it much easier. Like on this rotation, it's much easier to get the 18 key supers, right? But Depending on your luck, I guess, with the Rainbow Key Spheres, and also if you're bringing an orb, uh, a Rainbow Orb Changer, it also makes it much easier. 7 mil. 7 mil for the Gogeta. Um, but yeah, if you're not able to get those uh, Rainbow Key Spheres, then it definitely becomes much more of a challenge to get the, you know, 18 key super for these guys. So, yeah, key might be a little bit of an issue. Just a little bit. Okay, so... Um, this turn is a little bit scary. I gotta say, this is a bit of a scary turn. I think we can still get away with not using an item, but we might take a lot of damage. But we do want to take a lot of damage, actually, because we want to get uh, both of the, you know, Gogeta and Vegito to fuse, right, at some point. Some, sometime soon, sometime soon. So, um, I would actually happily take a super here, as long as it doesn't kill us. Right, as long as we don't take too much damage, we should be fine. So, fingers crossed. Um, I think if the Super Saiyan 4 is take a super now, it should be like a good amount. It should be like, you know, three, 400k, but not enough to get us out of here. Okay, so... Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's kind of what we wanted. Is it enough for 50% though? That's the question. Oh yeah, yeah, I think we're just under 50%. I think we're just under, or maybe just over. No, just under. Perfect. Okay, so this is good. This is what we want. This is what we want. We should get the... Would it be the double fusion? It should be the double fusion next turn, right? Here we go. Okay, so this is the Vegito. Boom. Fuse. Sorry, Gogeta, my bad. Gogeta. I don't know why I said Vegito. Um... It's getting confusing, man. There's too many Gogetas and Vegetos on the team. But, yeah, that was the Gogeta first, and then Vegito. And now we can actually get double Gogeta. So I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. There we go. It's crazy how much the animations have improved over time, because we're looking at, like, you know, a liter literally like a third-year unit versus... Um, a unit that came out, like, between years f 6 and 7, right? No. Around 6 years. Around 6 years. So, yeah, definitely a massive improvement in that time, which is to be expected. And we got... Yeah, it's gonna be all 7 links. All 7 links with the double Gogeta. So let's do full 24 key super there. That's beautiful. And as you can see, all 7 links are activated. And uh, I guess Vegito is going to have to take a bit of a backseat for now until we get him to the other rotation. But Vegito is going to be putting in some work as well. Okay, so it's going to be 7.3 mil for our Gogeta. Guaranteed crit for the first three turns, I believe. Some good damage there. Some good tanking, as well as a dodge. And then we have Tech Gogeta doing some good damage as well. But as you can see, definitely a drop-off in the attack stat from 7... Was it 7.5 to 3.5? And then Vegito, 6.6. .6. Now, this is nothing for the Vegito because his main damage, his main source of damage comes from 
is counters, which we're not going to see here. But once we get the two Vegitos together, that's going to be a lot of fun, guys. It's going to be a great time. Um, okay, so for this turn, I'm a little bit concerned about the... Uh, wait, did I take the... Yeah, I took the Vegito rotation too. I messed up there. I messed up there. The STR Vegito, I should not have taken out of, out of this rotation. So that was um, a big mistake on my part. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I actually don't want to uh, do too much damage here. So what I'm going to do is just like not give these guys super attacks actually they're probably still gonna get additional supers but yeah i'm gonna try to actually keep this goku alive as much as possible because i want to get more attacks in with the gogeta and the vegeto you know what i mean so yeah we're gonna nerf ourselves a little bit because we know that damn it we know that this double super saiyan 4 rotation can absolutely annihilate the super saiyan 4 goku which we don't want right now. We don't want them to do that right now. Okay, yep. Very nice. Ah, oh, come on, man. I, I, I know you can do this. I, I know you guys can... <laughs> I know you're very good. You don't have to show it right now, though. You don't have to show it right now, though. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have to go like this. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is just fine. 24 key super once again. That's going to be 24 key super for the Gogeta. The other Gogeta, that is. And then a nice super for the STR. We're taking a super attack, but the Gogeta will handle it just fine. I'm not concerned about him at all. In fact, he's getting a good amount of dodges. Uh, 7.3 mil once again, without support, of course. It should be over 8 mil, I guess, with the tech Vegito. Yeah. Okay, 5.7. Can we get... Yeah, no additional super, unfortunate. But this super attack should not hurt too bad. Yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought it was going to be double digits, actually. But 1.6k is close enough. 1.6k is still very, very solid. And double digits for this guy, of course. And maybe we can keep the Goku alive for one more attack from the Int Vegito next time, or next turn. Let's see here. Um, no, does not look like that's happening, but... We can still get some counters, at the very least, so... That's good. Okay, let's get some counters off here. And, oh, we're getting Dokkan attack as well. Okay, so we're going to do a 12k Dokkan attack with the Int Vegito. Not ideal, but that's fine. There's one counter. Here's another. And, okay, we weren't able to get the Dokkan attack off anyways. So, it kind of worked out. It kind of worked out. Alright, so we have a guaranteed Dokkan attack this turn. <laughs> um, Let me see... Uh, so we can't dodge. Um, 217k defense is not bad, but it's like pretty concerning as far as taking a super attack from the full power Super Saiyan 4. So I am going to have to pop a Whis here. And then we should be fine. Okay, that's going to be another 24 key super. That's going to be another 24 key super for him. And should I just... Yeah, I'll just give a 12 key super the Super Saiyan 4s, because I don't want them to go off too much. So with the Whis, taking double digits, now this super could still hurt, because, as you guys know, this guy hits really hard, so I think the Whis was actually a good idea. 151k. Good idea. Good idea. So they're not like defensive juggernauts um, by any means, you know, before or after the Extremes Awakening. Um, their defense is still something that you'll have to you know, take into account as far as like item, using items and stuff like that, because um, they have good defense, but it's not amazing defense. Okay, so, I mean, after they get to super, their defense becomes much better, but as a slot one unit, you definitely want to like still be careful uh, with them defensively. So, um, it's not a knock against these units. I still think they're mad impressive, like really, really impressive with these Extreme Sea Awakenings. 
But once again, um, the defense is definitely not like not crazy, I guess, but not bad, of course. So yeah, um, I guess I've said all there is to say about these extremes, the awakenings. I do look forward to getting. Damn it. Okay, so we can't get the double Vegito rotation here. It's just not gonna work out. But hey, it's okay. It's all good. Vegito can still put in some work here. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up with the Vegito here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel I feel kind of bad for Vegito. I really do. But there's not much we can do right now given the current circumstances. His counters will still do some good things for us, but. Um, we're not really getting to see the Vegito in his like most optimal form, you know what I mean? Okay, can we get at least a crit counter here? There's a crit counter. It's a lot of damage. I gave my Vegito a lot, a lot of uh, crit. So his counters should almost always be a crit, not this time. But you guys get the point. You want to give this guy a lot of crits because those counters being crits will just increase his damage output like not exponentially, but you know, like like basically double it um, on harder events where you have a lot of attacks coming your way. Uh, if like more than half those counters are crits, he's doing so much more damage. And uh, you know, people have been asking like, which one do I think is better? Do I think the Majito is better or the Gogeta is better? They're both amazing. But if I was to be honest, if I was like, you know, to be unbiased, um, I think that the I think that the Gogeta is definitely, or sorry, the Vegito is definitely the superior unit, mainly because of all of the, um, uh, all of the, the the counters. You know, that just makes such a massive, massive difference. So, yeah, even though I am Team Gogeta between the fusions, you know, um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely siding with Vegito for the better unit between the two. Okay, so we're taking this without any items, and that was a lot of damage as expected, but that's okay. We can survive that because this team has a stupid amount of HP, man. <laughs> Just ridiculous amount of HP. And is this going to do it? Ooh, no. Additional, though. And there we go. So this ended up becoming more of a showcase of the Gogeta, but the Vegito, I want you guys to know can do some crazy things, man. If I had, like, played this better, I have had, had set up the rotations a little bit better and, like, timed maybe some of the, you know, some of the fusions and like that better, um, we could have gotten the double Vegeta rotation and then we would have seen some more, you know, impressive turns, rotations from the Vegito. Maybe I should have just kept these guys together. I think that would have been a better move. I just wanted to, like, you know, get them on their optimal rotations with like all the links active and stuff like that, but that was my mistake, so I do apologize for that. But overall, I was very impressed. I was very, very impressed. The Vegito and the Gogeta are both monsters. Once again, man, I think the Vegito is better, just like straight up because of the counters, but the Gogeta is no slouch either, that's for sure. I mean, 8 mil attack, uh, attacks effective against all. Um, you know, chance to crit, or oh, actually guarantee crit, I think, for the first three turns. And then, um, you know, some really solid defense. Nothing insane, not like the best defense we've seen by any means. Definitely still have to use items on harder events like Red Zone, for example. But, um, this is more than I could have asked for. You know, for these guys that were released in, you know, the third anniversary, um, four years ago, basically. For them to be this good now with the Extremes the Awakening is uh is beautiful, man. It really is. Now, only complaint I have, and I, I mentioned this in the stream earlier today, these guys need effects, man. <laughs> the Kochita and the Vegito have some amazing looking art, but they don't have any effects on their LR arts, which is weird for LRs. But I understand that like it was from a long time ago, so maybe they didn't consider it, but yo, these guys need arts, man. We need to start a petition. Or not arts. These guys need need effects. They need to allow us to put stickers on these guys at least, right? So uh, let's make that happen, Bandai. That's Kotsky. Bandai spies out there. Do it. Make it happen. And um, 
Otherwise, guys, that's all I gotta say. That is today's showcase. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.